Alright, in this video I'll be making a headphone amplifier out of these speakers right here. Um, this should be a lot easier than making a headphone amplifier from scratch because I have tried that and it was a pain. And I never even finished the project. I ended up ripping all the components out of the breadboard. Um, and I don't want to buy one either just because it's not me. I like to make my own electronic stuff if I know that I can. So basically you'll just need some speakers that um, have an amplifier built in and that's just basically all speakers that are in an enclosure and just other things like headphones and maybe some connector jacks I guess. Alright, let's get started. Alright, I have the speakers opened up and I'm going to show you how this is going to work first before I solder everything just so you could know what I'm doing here. Um, this jack right here comes from the speakers, it's original. Your speakers will probably have a input jack also. I'm going to clip mine and solder a new one on it actually because this one's broken but you probably won't have to do that. Um, you're going to keep that. You're going to need this. This is what goes into your music player. And here's the two battery wires. I'm going to pull those out of here because I won't be using this huge case for these huge batteries. I'll be using a different power source. You don't have to be you don't have to use 6 volts like the speakers call. You can you can do a little bit less or a little bit more than that. It's really not that critical. Um but well, the main part of this amplifier is figuring out where you're going to plug your headphones in. There's no headphone jack, it's just speakers. But it's really not as hard as you think. It's There's two wires here going to the speakers on one side. So let's say this is your left side of the headphones. And here's the right side of the headphones. Um, there's two wires here. And they're all going into the amplifier. So that's two wires, two wires, four wires. It's plus, minus, plus, minus. You connect the two minuses, the two grounds and that'll be one wire basically, the grounds and then the two positives are going to be the other two wires, so that's three wires right there and um, you're going to connect it to a jack so I have here a blue, a red, and a black it's hard to see I know, but the black will be the two grounds and the blue and the red will be the two positives and that way you'll be able to have an amplifier that gives you stereo sound Stereo is better than mono. Um, here's a diagram. You probably don't need it, but you know, I drew it. Here's the amp, here's the battery, and here's the original jack, and here's the part that I was explaining with the speakers. Here's one speaker, and here's one speaker. So, one speaker, one speaker. Um, plus, minus, plus, minus. Grounds are connected, and then so the positive goes to one part of the jack, the grounds go to one part, and the other positive from the other speaker goes to one part. So, it's three wires. It's actually really simple. You may not wire it correctly on your first try, but you know, nothing bad can really happen. I don't think. <laughs> well, let's get started. Okay, so here's the amp. I pulled it out of the speakers and I clipped all the wires and stuff. Um, okay. Uh, so here are all the speaker wires. There's two right here and two right here and I connected them the way that I showed in my diagram. Uh, I used a multimeter to test which ones were plus, which ones were minus, because funny as it is, this white one turned out to be the positive one and the blue one to be negative. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but good thing I checked first. And then I have these right here going to the input jack. You probably won't have to do this step, but I did because mine was broken, and um, I had to switch these around a couple of times to get the best sound. But as you can see, I'm using alligator clips, and here's the jacks here. I'm using alligator clips because I wanted to make sure everything worked good, and that it was actually amplifying the signal, and it was. And I recommend that you you, you try it out with alligator clips first because you might have to switch some wires around to get the best sound because I wasn't getting very good sound at first but then I switched around some wires in it was good so I'll show you right now um, how it works this is you can see this is 
the headphones right here. This is without the amplifier. So, listen. Not very loud. Pretty quiet, actually. So, I'm going to pause it. And so now I'm just going to switch it. I'm going to plug this in and this in. I'm not changing the volume. Hold on. Okay, so I plugged my, um, I have it going through my amplifier now. Same volume on the phone, but let's see how it compares. There is a pretty big difference, and this is with 6 volts of power. So, it works, and it works good, and the sound quality is great. So, now I'm just going to have to solder everything and find a casing for it. Here it is, my amplifier, with the soldered connections. I got heat shrink tubing on the individual connections, and then I put some electrical tape here, just to hold everything and then I have heat shrink here on the battery pack and I'm using a battery pack that has an on and off switch with three triple A's this is 4.5 volts not quite the six that we want but there's barely any difference so it still works good and I just have to find a casing for this thing right now I don't have one but you can be creative and use anything you want you could just you could just wrap the whole thing in electrical tape if you want, or you could just put it in like a any kind of a kitchen container or just anything you find around. But I might go to Radio Shack and buy an actual casing to make this look nice, kind of like the one that I have here for my voltage regulator. But yeah, you don't have to make an amplifier from scratch. You don't have to make one. Um, you don't have to buy one but you can just hack something like I did, hack a pair of speakers and make an amplifier. Thanks for watching.